the tarp held up nicely. My boards aren't warped. They stayed mostly out of the elements. I think we got a little bit of rain the other night. A lot of wind. Um, but this held up well. So what we're going to do today is kind of clear all this stuff out of the way. Um, you guys maybe saw one of my videos where I was playing with, uh, measured some sticks and laid them out here to get where my corners are going to be. Today we're going to do something a little bit more precise. So I've got two property tape measures. They're just those, um, I don't even know what they're called. Like a hundred, one's 165 feet, one's 100 feet. And you kind of roll them out. Uh, we don't need that much, but we're going to get our spot square. Not necessarily level today, but we're going to definitely identify where the corner posts are going to go. And we'll see how far we get. And along the way, I'll show you guys how I'm making sure it's square using the Pythagorean theorem. And then also I'll put a link in the description below to a Pythagorean theorem calculator. Uh, since I'm doing 20 feet by... Uh, 12 feet you pop those numbers into the Pythagorean theorem calculator to figure out uh, what the other corner should be for a right triangle to make sure you're square and this just happens to be 23 and a third so I'm gonna do 23 feet and 4 inches which is what these logs are currently laid out at I'm just gonna do it a little more precise with the tape measures uh, first let me clear all this stuff away including that thousand pound log you guys saw me drag down the hill the other day so, I got all the stuff moved. Whew, I almost quit after that. Oh. Um, now we're just gonna, I'm gonna rake up some of this just to uh, see what the floor looks like underneath and then we'll go from there. All right, so now we have a better idea of what the ground actually looks like here. Um, that corner is the hole I dug last time. This is where the big rock used to be. And I used to have a spike somewhere right in here. We'll find that again. Um, got a good idea of the composition of the ground, how loose it is, uh, how rocky it is, only on the top level. Um, and then we got our low point back here in the corner that I've marked before. And then we've got our high point right here in a corner that I had marked before. I'm going to put these in a little better and then <clears throat> get our uh, two tape measures, roll them out, and actually find my corners. So first I'm going to get a better stake in the ground right here. I just cut this out of a little, uh, out of my dry wood pile. And then I'm going to attach this tape measure to it. Just slips right over there and it actually measures from the opposite side of this ring. So I measured to be sure this four inches right here is from the inside of that ring. So. That should, well, I had it on there just a second ago. <laughs> just slip that right over there. That should stay for now. And then we'll just walk this back 
12 feet. We'll do the over here. Let me see. Probably get a better stake in here. Let's pull this tight and make sure we get it 12 feet. Right there. And again. How many times am I going to hit my hand before I take it away a little bit? All right, and we are uh, approximately 12 feet. All right. So now the next thing we have to do is find, so we have that set at 12 feet. Now we have to find 20 feet from that corner to where I'm gonna put this post in this hole or this stake to mark in the hole where square is. And then from that side over there, we have to pull 23 and a third to there. And that's 23 feet and four inches. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, the final word. I didn't like what focusing on um, the hole I had dug made it come out to. Instead, I, I set this side where I wanted it in relation to these trees. That small tree back there is probably gonna have to be cut down. Um, I'm not gonna cut this big tree down. So this is one corner. That's one corner down there and then we're actually back so all, these three corners were actually all good to begin with and then I moved that one up to here and that one forward a little bit because of the hole up there uh, I'm just going to when I set my post in this hole the the hole is approximately you know somewhere in that hole is the right measurement I was pushing it at the back of the hole that's fine when I if I have to dig it out more or when I set this post um, I'll make sure we draw this diagonal again, but that's where it's going to be. Corner, corner, and then corner. And again, Pythagorean theorem, go to the calculator, type in your length and width, and then the calculator will tell you what your diagonal is supposed to be. And then just stretch it out and measure it and get as close as you can and stake it out. Um, I'm actually going to set my four corner posts probably Sunday. I'm still waiting on one more thing to get in. Um, and then I'm going to dig these holes, pour the gravel, set the posts. And then I will actually set the post first. Bolt on the outside of the frame of the floor. And then cut the posts off at level. So that's how I'll that's how I'll level it. I've got those uh, six by six by eights. Uh, don't we, we won't need a full eight feet. Um, the longest one will be back there, or you know the highest I cut it off. Um, the shortest one will be probably over there. But hopefully you saw while I was while I was raking. Um, that's why I'm actually concreting in at least the four corners with six by sixes, because I don't want to sloop off <laughs> in the middle of the night down into that if the wind blows hard or if it rains. So anyways, uh, leave your questions, comments below. Uh, that's, that's how you find your square corners. If you have uh, recommendations or other videos or you've done a video on how to do this, post it in the comments and I'll go check it out. Um, I actually think I'm going to put one of the concrete footers at these four corners uh, just to lay out and cut my boards on. But we may end up doing that another time. All right, guys, we'll see you on the ridge. Yeah, I mean, the hole was a little bit off, not, not much. I mean, like, what, a foot and a half? That would have been fine. <laughs> yeah, so glad I figured that out. But there we are, all staked out, hand square.
good hole. Okay.